everyone. Today we're going to learn how to register for a Pupil Path account. This will enable you to see the student's progress in all subject areas in real time as the teachers enter their grades. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top. We're going to make sure that our address bar is filled in with the correct website, which is https colon forward slash forward slash pupilpath.schedula.com. And then you're going to go down to the center of the screen. Don't click sign in if you have not yet registered for an account yet. Parent registration is one form and student registration is another. So we're going to take a look at the parent registration first. When you get to this screen, you are going to fill in the parent information section using a valid email address. Choose your prefix. Type in your first name. Type in your last name. Then scroll down to where it's going to ask you to choose a school. Now, in order to do this, the easiest way is to click on the bar and then type in the search 207. You're going to see two schools that say PS207 pop up. We want the second one, the one that says 22K207 dash PS207 Elizabeth G. Leary. And then go ahead and click that. And then you're going to need the student's ID, birthday, and registration code. Now, in order to get the student's ID and registration code, you're going to be going to a form that looks like this. And you can obtain that from the school. You can email Mrs. Kelly at mkelly at ps207tigers.org. And then you'll get a sheet mailed to you via email that looks like this. And down on the bottom, it'll have your student's name. The OSIS is going to be their ID number. So where it says student ID, that's the number they're talking about. And then there's two separate registration codes, one for parents and then one for students. Now, again, these are not your username and password. These are the registration codes that you're going to need to sign up for an account. Student account registration looks a little bit different. Um, they're going to again fill in the school. Again, select from the drop down. You want to make sure that you can easily type in 207. Again, then select 22K207 PS207 Elizabeth G. Leary. And then you're going to use the student ID, which is the OSIS, again on that form that we just looked at. Have the student type in their birthday. It will pop up a calendar so you'll easily be able to navigate. And then the registration code for students again is separate. Again, this is not a password. This is a registration code. Once you filled in all the information, a screen is going to pop up like this. Um, this is just the student registration form showing up, but it'll look very similar for parents. On the bottom, it's going to say, thank you for registering. Your username is, and then it's going to ask you to set up a password. So this is what the screen is going to look like to set up your password. You're going to make sure that you enter your password twice. Be sure that you have a uppercase, lowercase, letter, and or special symbol as part of your password in order to make sure that it is secure. Once you're done typing those both in, you're going to click Set Password. And then it's going to bring you back to the sign in screen. Now here's where you're going to use the email or user ID that you signed up with. Then you'll click Next. And then you will enter the password that you set. And that's it.